that UV rays from the sun harmful to our skin. We know that. But now some say that your smartphone, your computer can cause just as much damage from the sun. Dr. Howard Murad, a dermatologist uh, to uh, A-list stars like Nicole Scherzinger and Jennifer Lopez, claims that spending four days in front of screens emit harmful blue rays, equivalent to 20 minutes in front of or out in the sun. And joining us now to talk about that is Dr. Matthew Knight with Knight Dermatology. Uh, Dr. Good we're at our back because we're evening out our tans. That's right, all this blue light right back here. Exactly. Is that real? Uh, it's kind of real. Kind of real. And, you know, blue light is a new thing for humans. Um, uh, up till uh, about 20 years ago, we never had this problem with We've blue light. We've always the blue light special. We have. That's different at Kmart. That's different. not around okay. me. Okay, okay. Uh, making that clear. Right. The thing is with uh, blue lights, like our computer screens and our, our phones, they emit this high intensity uh, visible light that we've never had before. Okay. And it has some effects on our, our body. Not and our so, skin, though. Yeah. Some people suggest that we need sunscreen and green screen to protect from these things, but it's really not true. Not, okay, that's yeah, not if you true. do a okay. look in the literature, uh, you won't see a whole lot of examples of skin cancer or fine lines and wrinkles or other things being caused so what by does it devices. Mess with? Well, it can mess with your eyes, Okay. and there was a really interesting Harvard study looking at our circadian rhythms. These are the way we sleep. We sleep. Yeah. It has to do with melatonin in our brains, and it's really important because if you use your tablet at night or you're on your computer too late, yes. and you're getting all this blue light, we're really sensitive that. Our brains are really sensitive to the way they work, and it can affect you in, in terrible ways. According to this Harvard study, it can lead to obesity, diabetes, cancers, including prostate and breast cancer and other ways. So is this like video games too or TVs or no? Well, it's anything that emits this high intensity blue light. And a lot of our devices that use LEDs like computer yeah, screens yeah, yeah. and TVs emit this blue light. So we need to protect ourselves. Uh, if you have an iPhone, there's an app called uh, Night Shift, which shifts the light from blue to more of a green yellow, which isn't as bad for our brains in the way we process that light. There's other apps available. Change the way it looks? Yeah, it looks it, more yellow it, green. Green, it, so it's okay, not as, iPhone as, as jaundice or something. Like it that. does look a little jaundice. Uh, okay, actually. okay. But Can I wear glasses or anything to make that happen? So there are glasses, not blue blockers, like uh, we're around in the 80s, but okay. there are glasses that block out that blue light that can affect your retinas. Uh -huh. It can also affect your vision. Ask any doctor who spends his day with electronic medical records. Okay. It affects your vision, uh, so you have to be careful that way. But this other part of it, how often do people use their iPhones oh, or their tablets all, all in bed before right. they go to bed, uh, yeah. is really dangerous for people. So put down the tablet. I've always thought that. Uh, you, you, Video games late at night or you shouldn't watch TV late at night because it, it keeps you up. But I always thought it was because it engages your brain and then, you know, whatever, you're just sort of wired from coming off the video game mm -hmm. or whatever. And that is why you have problems sleeping. But it could also be because of the light. That's certainly part of it. Okay. So getting in an argument or playing a video game or being excited before bed is not good. Right, right. Uh, you have to practice good sleep hygiene, which means you go to bed and you're there just to go to bed. But too many of us are on our phones or our computers with yeah. this long work day trying to get the work done and you're exposed to this light that affects our retina in our brains in unforeseen ways. Thinking that you're you're downloading, you're coming yeah. down from the day. Right, you're just checking you're, Facebook, but it, right, right, it doesn't right. work that way. Right. Our brains are seeing it as more blue light. It's engaging our brains. It's decreasing the amount of melatonin uh -huh. that's released by our brain, and you're getting poor sleep, which can lead to all these nasty things, according to this Harvard study, like obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. You scientists, always harsh and <laughs> on my mellow. I, I know, want, and I'm just I a dermatologist. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Knight, how can people find you if they have more questions sure. and stuff? Uh, you know, I'm not an op ophthalmologist, but knightdermatology.com. Uh, right downtown or on Facebook, of course. Good deal. Thanks. See you. Have a great weekend.